A couple of big things happened. One, we sold our camp property at McCall to invest in this building, and Funzy was started. Well, if you've ever stepped foot inside the downtown YMCA in Boise or driven past it on State Street, you should know you're seeing or walking into virtually the same building that's been there since before man walked on the moon. If you've ever tried to park there, you probably already know it'd be easier to park on the moon. But what you may not know is that building was built because of a fundraiser that is happening this weekend. Funzy, the biannual gala to raise money for local nonprofits to use on buildings. Well, this year, Funzy has come full circle once again, raising money to help pay for the new downtown YMCA. Because the story is going to provide you some of the history of the YMCA in Boise and the nonprofit that began because of it. But I'm not so sure it will offer any clarity as to what the name Funzy actually means. Noon ball at Boise's downtown YMCA. Tim. Yeah, Tim. Always begins with sorting out Travis, who's stacking up John. against whom. We're playing the zone. And how. So are we? Noon ball, just one of the exercise options available at the Y, has been a midday tradition dating back decades. And it brings in all walks of life. We had doctors who played, um, brokers. You name it. We used to have a sitting state Supreme Court justice used to play. But when they step on the court, everybody's fair game. Greg's not afraid to shoot still. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to unwind, and it's a good social network. The basketball is part of it, candidly, but it's a social network. For some of these guys, their time at the Y seems to go back almost to the beginning. John Williams has played noon ball since he moved to Boise 30 years ago. <laughs> David Bruce. Been here a long time. Even longer. 44 years. I go for assists, Wade, unlike you. You know, I think it's a really a great example of how community happens at the Y. It's just been a really cool part of this Y's history. That's because basketball has been a big part of the Y's history. Since James Naismith invented it at the Springfield, Massachusetts chapter in 1891. As for the YMCA's beginnings in Boise, that was about the same time, culminating with the Young Men's Christian Association incorporating in 1892, convening first in the Sona Building on the corner of 9th and Main Streets. Ten years later, in 1902, the Y bought its first building at 10th and Grove, and the organization introduced Idaho's first organized basketball team. In 1922, they moved two blocks away and added a pool. A multiplying membership meant a need for more space. So instead of another corner lot, the Y bought a whole city block in 1962 between 10th and 11th and State and Washington with plans to replace the Methodist Church with a state-of-the-art facility. A million dollars was raised, but that was still several hundreds of thousands short. We started the building without having all the money raised. By 1967, the Y was just an empty shell. So in order to fill it, they needed to fill some coffers. They needed a fundraiser for the YMCA. Funds for the Y. Yeah. Funzy. Yeah, isn't that poetic? Funds for the Y. It was actually billed in the beginning as Fund Serving You. An exciting first for Boise. A fun-filled party auction with food, drink, and Diane Norris. Meet Miss Funzy and help finish building a brand new YMCA. And it was a one-time thing that they were gonna do to raise enough money to fund the YMCA, and they did it. $38,000 was raised that first funsy in 1967. If you look at the list of leaders that were a part of the original funsy, it's an impressive group of people. But kickstarting a campaign to fund the Y? Funds the YMCA. That was just the beginning. Our mission is to fund brick and mortar projects, and I think that's what makes us so special, is the money is dedicated to one thing, and that is really to either renovate, buy, or have a building in the community. Today, Funzi is considered the city's oldest nonprofit. So it all started with the YMCA mm -hmm. downtown, mm -hmm. and that building's been there since, mm -hmm. and it's old. And it's old. It's time for a new one. Yeah. That's a cool part about the Y. We got this thing started, and the whole community benefited. 57 years later, the Y is hoping Funzy can help them fund another new beginning. We've got one of the biggest projects, the most visionary projects that we've ever imagined. And so we're moving across the street, 
building a brand new 109,000 square foot YMCA, 134 seat child care center. We'll double the number of kids that we serve in the downtown area. There will be a new pool, a neurodiversity center. And then something that's really near and dear to our heart is that the new facility will be totally barrier free. If you've got any kind of cognitive impairment or physical challenge, this building is tough. And then the new building will remove all those barriers. After all, just because you missed doesn't mean it's a foul. Removing barriers we had 18. is kind of what the Y is all about. 18. Next basket wins. You know, let's give people an opportunity. Let's believe in them. Let's uh, bring people together and see what kind of community we can form. That's game. Yep, that's game. And who knows? Can. It could be the beginning. That's good for another 30 years. Of another half century. You shot the lights out today. Oh. Every dog has his day. It's a pretty important place to us, pretty, pretty special. Okay, for some perspective, the winning bid for that original downtown Y came in at just over $1.1 million. The current project budgeted for about $80 million. The downtown Y was on the receiving end of Funzy for the next several years after that first year, sharing it with other charities. They even auctioned off a house in the Highlands in 1969. But by 1972, Funzy's focus turned to other nonprofits, and it became an every two-year event. From the Black History Museum to the Anne Frank Memorial to the Peregrine Fund to Trica, You'd be hard pressed to find a nonprofit in Boise that Funzy has not helped. Nearly $9 million in 56 years. So the name Funzy, fund serving you or funds for the Y? Since it funded the Y for the first five years, we'll just give them that claim. The gala is coming up this Saturday at the Boise Center, and tickets, I believe, are still available.